Welcome to the WT Sports Network, representing the Lone Star Conference. I'm your host, Kale Steed, and thank you for joining us. We're here with head women's basketball coach Krista Gerlich as a part of the LSC Basketball Online Media Day. Coach, uh, you excited about the start of the season? Very excited. I can't believe it's already here, but we're ready to get going. And you did it just like over the weekend. Your practices are opening up. Uh, just expectations are always big for the Lady Buffs. And this year no different no none at all and actually we kind of want to get back on track you know last year we were kind of injury plagued for for most of the season and um, still had opportunities to be successful but maybe didn't capitalize on those opportunities and so we're really excited to get back on track and and to get those injured players healthy and and uh, and and start our winning ways again still a very very young team mm -hmm. but you do have a, a sen senior coming back all-american Joni Unruh she'll be joining you back after last year's knee injury. Mm -hmm. How key will she be helping these young kids come along? Well, it's just nice to have her out there again. I mean, it, it's the things that she understands about our program and the little things that she knows that I want done, you know, the little, I can hear her during practices saying things to, to new players or to even our younger ones that, that she knows that, you know, that I'll be looking for. So that just her presence alone helps us so much. But um, it's fun to see her back out there and, and taking it to the hole with that left hand and, and, and Ding some people up as well. That's great to see too. And, and having, uh, you got a big transfer coming in, a D1 transfer from North Carolina State, a family history of basketball. Talk, kind of talk, tell us about her. Who, Griffin. Yes, Devin Griffin. Um, yes, she played at Lubbock Coronado in high school and, and then went out to NC State. Um, you know, just one of those situations where it was pretty far from home. She um, she did a great job out there, started actually as a freshman in the ACC, which is very impressive um, for, I think, 13 games or so. So, um, But she wanted to be close to home and be able to play in front of her family. And she's going to give us instant athleticism. Um, she is just a, a, a very versatile player. She can play on the perimeter. She can post up down low. Very strong and athletic and um, and just a winner. Um, I, I've known her since her entire life, so I'm excited about that. I know her mom really well, so um, it's just really fun to be able to coach her. And one thing about your program and one thing the LSC appreciates is the academic success that you, you instill in your players. Just, just break it down for us a little bit. What what is, I guess, how important is that in the classroom as well on the basketball court? Well, we strive really as much as we can every day to, to teach our kids that we don't want them to just be successful on the basketball court. You know, every walk, Everything they do in their walk of life, we want them to be successful with. So if they're in the classroom, we think they should be the best in the class, you know, if they're, um, or at least do their best in the class that they can. If they're on the basketball court, we expect their best. If they're representing us off the court, they need to be doing their very best. And, and excellence is contagious. And so we just want them to be, uh, to strive for excellence in all that they do. So that we're proud of what they've done in the classroom and we certainly have high goals for them. And, and they have made a commitment as a team this year to, to uh, really work on their GPA, their team GPA for, for this um, season. And uh, one thing everybody's excited about is the new LST, uh, kind mm -hmm. of a round robin format. Mm -hmm. Can I tell us what your personal opinion of, of what you think the new LST could be and will be? Well, I'm excited about it and I've, I've ever since I've joined this league, I've been um, really excited about the possibilities as of, as that's going to this um, this format. And I think it's going to be more of a, a true tell on um, who's the best in the league for an extended period of time because you're going to get to play everybody twice, home and home and away. And um, it's just going to be a more realistic view of, of who um, is definitely the best in the league. I think it's going to help us um, in the region because it's going to strengthen our conference um, standings, I think, as far as, um, you know, uh, having maybe more teams represent the Lone Star in the regional tournament, I hope, um, just because of, of the quality of play that we have. Are you excited? It's an Allen, more of a neutral side. I mean, everybody liked Bart Bartlesville, but Allen, kind of more central location. Well, we love Bartlesville, and it was really a home away from home for us, so we always have to give a great shout out for Bar Bartlesville, but Allen is going to be a, a tremendous um, venue for us. Uh, number one, it is more centrally loca localized, and then also um, just the, the arena we're playing in is unbelievable. It's really, really nice. It's going to be a great experience for our kids. It's right in the middle of all the shopping areas, so it's going to be, there's going to be more things for them to do. It's really going to be more of a championship experience for them, and I think it's going to be fun for our fans, too. And let's hope you're raising the banner at the end, or raising uh, the no trophy doubt, at the end. No doubt. Yeah. It won't be as fun if we're not doing that. That's right. Well, thanks, Coach. And, and for more information on the LSC, please visit LoneStarConference.org. For the Lone Star Conference, I'm Kale Steve.